to him in your own words Lord you will always be holy you are the king of kings you were righteous you were holy holy forever we join the angels to cry holy he is our father hallelujah blessed be your name oh God we bow before you and we worship you say something to him his mercy prevails his mercy prevails over judgment thank him for his mercy just say thank you to God. God, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy over my life. 
Thank you for your mercy over my family. Thank you for your mercy over my friends. Thank you for your mercy over every relative, for every church member, for everyone who calls you and for the whole world. Bless God for his mercy. Appreciate him. Say, Lord, you are holy. You are righteous. We bow to you. We exalt you. Hallelujah. He is holy. He is holy. Amen. So we're just going to pray just two, three prayer points before we take our seats, before we wish each other happy Sunday. Hallelujah. First one, we're going to pray because you know we've been fasting and praying because of evangelism. Because we want the Lord to equip us and because we have a passion for souls. And that's because God is passionate about souls. Hallelujah. Good to see some of you in church. Now, we want to now take it to God before we take our seats. If you can't handle it, you may have to sit down. But I tell you now, we just want to present ourselves to God. And these prayer points are not too much, I tell you. One, the first one, before we take the first one, I want to read the passage, Colossians 4, 3 to 4. Amen. If you can project it, that would be awesome. Colossians 4, 3 to 4. Hallelujah. Okay, I would read. Colossians chapter 4, verse, verses 3 to 4. And at the same time, pray for us also that God may open a door to us for the word as the gospel. It says to proclaim the mystery concerning Jesus, the Messiah, on account of which I am in prison. I'm reading Amplified. Okay, New King James 4. Let's go to 4. Let's go to 4. Let's take 4 together, church. That I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. That's the gospel. We want to make it manifest. Now I read in Amplify, it says that I may proclaim it fully. Hallelujah. And make it clear that I must speak boldly and unfold the mystery as is my duty. Say as my duty. It is my duty. Is this my word? No. This is scripture. Jesus talking to us. So now begin to pray. I don't know the direction you want to take your prayer. I'm taking it from verse 3. That it says, let this same time. He said at the same time, pray for us also. That God may open a door to us. So I'm starting with that. I would like that you start with that too. God, I thank you. Because this is my duty. I thank you because you're the one who's called me. And now I'm praying, oh God, that, oh God, you would open the door for me. You will open the door for us. A door for your word. A door for the gospel. Now begin to pray that prayer. It says that God will open the door for me. Lord, I pray, I present myself to you this morning. You have said that this is my duty. I pray that you open the door for me. I know, somehow because you are the almighty, that door is open already. I tell you, it's not time to talk. It's just time to talk to the Lord, not to your neighbor. Try, just try. Say, okay, you know what, neighbor, wait a while. Let's finish this prayer and I'll come back to you. So now let's begin that prayer. Father, we pray for open doors for your gospel. For the word of God to go unhindered. For there to be an open door, it means God has opened that door. And so begin to pray and say, the door that you've opened, oh God, let me find it and let me walk through it. Preaching the gospel. He's talking about the gospel. He's talking about your duty to him. He says, this is your duty. This is my duty. This is your duty. So begin to tell him, Lord, we have only one more minute for this. And we move to the next one. That we may proclaim the mystery concerning Jesus Christ. On account for which I am in prison. That was when he was in prison. Now the Lord has set you free. He said because you're free now you're free indeed. And he said take this word. Proclaim it. I tell you and begin to just thank God for every other person. Not just for yourselves. As we pray we're praying this prayer for a fellow man, fellow woman. For a fellow brother and our sister. That God, that door, everybody will see it open. Everybody will declare it looks like child's play. Are you taking this serious? Yes we are. Why? Because Jesus gave a man. It. it says we should preach the gospel hallelujah as you wrap up we're going to take the second one verse 4 says that i may proclaim it fully i'll make it clear i'll speak boldly and i will unfold look at that that is in amplified if you look at it in amplified proclaim it how fully how again make it how clear <laughs> and you speak how boldly and then you unfold what the mystery assist my duty now you will take each one each one begin to pray, Father, help me to proclaim it fully, not halfway. You must proclaim the gospel complete, not halfway. You must proclaim it fully the way the Lord proclaims it. You must use scripture. You must make your reference from the Bible, I tell you. So let it make, let God help you to make it what? 
full and complete and clear. That God will help you to make it clear, concise. <laughs> no ambiguity, uh, no additions. Uh, make it clear. The gospel is crystal clear. Jesus is Lord. He is the only way to heaven. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's so clear. Make it clear. Don't make it complicated. Don't add. <laughs> Don't add what the Lord has not said. Don't say Pray again and say, God, help me to speak it boldly. Oh, no more spirit of timidity. Some of you say, oh, but I'm afraid. I can't talk to people. So now begin to pray and say, God, help me uh, to speak it boldly. When you speak it boldly, it means you're courageous about it. Uh, because you also have experienced the Lord. You also have had an encounter anyway. So you want to be bold when you declare it. Hallelujah. Say, God, help me. I can't help myself, but you can help me. Help me to make this gospel. Let me say it boldly. Let me preach it boldly. Let me declare it boldly in the name of Jesus. And now begin to pray and say, God, this is a mystery, I tell you. When you talk about Jesus, it's like a mystery. But God is the one that demystifies it. It says, unfold the mystery. Amplify says, unfold the mystery. It's your duty. It says that you may unfold the mystery. Now begin to pray. I submit myself to you. Help me to be able to unfold the mystery of the gospel. It will not remain a mystery anymore. It will be clear for all to see as I approach them. You know, the funny thing is you might approach them as on your way to, to your house. It might just be at the gate. It might just be in the bus. It might just be that your friend that you chat with every day. Has it been a mystery for your friend? God will demystify. Now pray for that person too that you want to reach out to. Can you be intentional this morning and say, I'm desiring one soul this week. Just one soul. Now begin to suck that soul in the Lord. I don't know if it's your father or your mother. I don't know if it's a friend. I don't know if it's someone, a colleague. Now just desire that soul. Look, I desire. Let God see that you desire it in your heart. Let God see that you desire it in your heart. Take it serious. Just take it serious. Say, okay, let me take it serious. Let me be intentional. I desire this soul. I'm seeing. Now begin to visualize this soul that you're desiring to speak to this week. And begin to bring that person before God. Say, this thing will not be a mystery for you again. It will be clear. Hmm. I will speak boldly to you. Now begin to declare over that person. I speak to your life. Um, your life becomes a good ground uh, for the word of God. Uh, the word of God will thrive in your life. Uh, in the name of Jesus. It's, as the word thrives in our lives, it will thrive in the life of this person. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Amen. Now we're going to go to the second one. We just want to pray like I said, two, three prayers. Hallelujah. Now we say, we want to destroy, first of all, we want to break the stronghold and then we now totally get it destroyed. How? By the word, 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5. I read. Yes. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we are not carrying on our warfare according to the flesh and we're not using mere human weapons. Verse 4. You can read along. Can we take verse 4 together? For the weapons of our warfare are not physical. They are not carnal. They are not weapons of flesh and blood. But they are what? Mighty to God. To the pulling down strongholds. For the overthrow and the destruction of strongholds. Hallelujah. 5 says, in as much as we, uh, we refute arguments, we cast them down. And theories and reasonings and every proud and lofty thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of God. We lead every thought and purpose. How? Captain. We're leading them how into the obedience of Jesus, hallelujah, because he is who the Messiah, the anointed one. Now begin to pull them down. How do you do that? By the word, by the word, hallelujah. Now pray it. Go back to three. If you don't know how to start it, you go back to three and say, We don't walk in the flesh. No, tell yourself, I do not walk in the flesh. I, Angela, I do not walk in the flesh. I don't carry out warfare as if I'm in the flesh. I will not do it according to fleshly dictator. Why? Because the, we, we are not using mere human weapons. As we proclaim the gospel, we are not using human weapons. No. The enemy is dangerous. The enemy is cunning. He will want to corner them. He does not want to release those souls, you know. So now you want to pull down those strongholds. Now begin to speak to those strongholds. If you are a stronghold in your head, right now by the power and the authority given to us in the name of Jesus, we pull you down and we say be destroyed. Whatever you are as a stronghold, we don't care if it's a stronghold in human form. We don't care if it's a stronghold in the area of career. He has taken over your reasoning. He has taken over the reasoning of that soul. He's made Making that soul chase things rather than chase God. Now bring that soul back to the Lord. Say, I break that stronghold. I break it in your life. I break it in your life. I break the hold that is strong upon you. That is not of God. In the name of Jesus. Uh, for we are carriers of God's presence. Uh, the Holy Ghost will enable you. Say, we pull it down. When you go to four, you say, 
Because the weapon you're using is the word of God. Now begin to use that weapon. Say, I use the word of God over your life. I begin to plead the blood over every one of you. Every soul. The one I have called. The one I've spoken to. The one I have not seen. Even the one I'm going to speak to. I begin to speak to you. In the name of Jesus. Uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We cast that imagination down. Now cast it down. Cast the imagination in your own heart down. Cast it down. Then cast the imagination in that soul down. Say, I cast down imagination. I cast down everything that my heart has been thinking about. That will not allow me rich people. I cast it down. I cast it down to the ground. And I begin to pull down. I begin to pull down. In the name of Jesus, I cast the imagination down. And I cast the imagination in the heart of every soul down. In the name of Jesus, anything that will stand against the knowledge of God, pull it down now. Is the knowledge of God, is there something contending with the knowledge of God in your own heart? Now pull it down. I pull it down, I pull it down, I pull it down, I pull it down, I pull it down. And then is there something contesting against the knowledge of God in the heart of your brethren? Now pull it down. I pull it down, I bring it, I bring it into captivity. In the name of Jesus. Now speak to that soul once more. That's so that you're designed. Now speak to that soul. Say, I bring your soul captive for Jesus. I panaka shokate. I can you zakata. You are attached to Jesus right now. We refuse to let you go. You won't go. You won't go. You won't go back to perdition. No. In the name of Jesus, you won't escape. Now begin to present. None of you will escape. No so we escape. Not the one brought by you. Not the one brought by the church. Is it your colleague? I keep hearing colleague. He, that person has been sitting beside you. That person has been working hand in hand with you. That person, maybe the person is in the market with you. <laughs> maybe your sales girl, I don't know. Now begin to say, why have I not seen this? God is showing you now. He's showing you now. That's so. Now begin to speak. Say, I pull down the stronghold in that person's life. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Let's take the last one quickly before I sit down. We want to pray for boldness for sharing the gospel. We prayed it before, but now we want to pray it in a new way. We want to pray, you know, asking the Holy Ghost for help. So let's look at Acts chapter 4, 29 and 31. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 4, 29, yes, and 31. And now, Lord, observe their threats. And grant to your bond servant full freedom to declare your message. How? Fearlessly. Yes, 31. And when they had prayed, people of God, can we read this together? When they had prayed, the place in which they were assembled was what? Shaken. And they were all filled with who? The Holy Spirit. And they continued to speak the word of God with freedom and boldness and courage. When they had done what? Prayed. When they had done what? Now let's pray. Can you begin to pray? When they had prayed, the place they were assembled was shaken. You are not the one that would do the shaking. It's the Holy Ghost. I just want to see like from the back. Now begin to pray. When they had prayed, brethren, you need to wake up to pray. Wake your neighbor to pray. Wake your look to your left and right. Some people are still lying there. Now pray. Begin to pray. When they had prayed, the place they were in was shaken. Everybody be praying. Everybody begin to pray. Pray in the spirit. Shake the place, I tell you. When they had prayed, the place in which they were assembled was shaken. They were filled with the Holy Ghost and they continued to speak the word of God. How? Boldly with courage. Now begin to pray. You are not exempted from praying. Everybody here. I'll tell you, uh, the duty of God is number one. Every other duty is secondary. Now begin to pray. I can't hear prayers here. You must speak it. Uh, you must speak it. Uh, you must begin to pray. Every one of you begin to pray. Every one of you begin to pray. Everybody pray. The work of God demands urgency. Now praise. I want to hear your prayer. I want to hear your prayer. 
right now, uh, in your duties, pray. Jana, in your duty post, be pray. Soak yourselves. Soak the soul. Soak the soul. As you pray, even the ones you didn't pray about, God will hear. God will answer you. Are we praying? We will speak the word of God boldly. We will declare with authority. Now pray, brethren. We speak it boldly. We speak it without offense. We speak it clearly. In the name of Jesus. One more minute. One more minute, brethren. Now engage. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. God, every prayer I pray is through you and for you, oh God. We have no power of our own, but we rely on you, Holy Ghost. Take over and breathe afresh on us. Sir. Let us proclaim this word. Let's not be ashamed. Let's begin to love your word. Let's have passion for souls. Stay in us, Holy Ghost. You are the only one that knows how we please you. You see every heart. You see, you look into every soul. You look into every spirit. You don't judge like man. You know how we can do it because you are our God. We rely on you. Huh? We wait on you. We hold you, God. We hug you. Huh? We live for you. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All we want to see is his glory. All we desire is his glory upon us. Not like yesterday, not like the few seconds past, but that it comes on us afresh. Yes, Lord. Just like it came on the day of Pentecost, Father. Let it be released on us. Yeah. Like cloven tongues of fire, Father. You're the king of kings, we honor you. No one's greater than the God we serve. You are high above all. Consume my sweet your presence now. See your face is what our heart desires. Surround us with your love and grace. Let your train fill this holy place. We long for your love. Oh, we please send down your glory. Your glory. How we need your glory. Your glory. Time, Lord. Your glory, your glory. 
Jesus, we long for your glory. We long for your glory. Jesus, we long. Jesus, we long for your glory. Surround us and go us. Lord, round us in your glory. fresh oil. We need fresh oil. We need it, Lord, to drink we from need our heart to drink from above. Ooh. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. Is that your glory come around? We need fresh we need oil. Fresh oil. Yes, God, we love with us. 
background uh, and um, I, have a, I have a heavy burden on my heart this morning and um, you're here, you're here and you actually don't know Jesus. You're here, you don't know Jesus, I'm not going to call you out, but you know in your heart that you actually don't have a relationship with Jesus. You were to die now, you're not sure you're going to heaven with God. If you're that person, We've been fasting and praying for you all month. I want you to tell Jesus, hold me close. Let your love surround me. Bring me near to you. Draw me to your side. You're here, you're not born again. Or you're here, you're not sure. You're just not sure. This is your day. It is the day of salvation. This is the appointed time for you. I want you to go to God in your heart and say, Lord Jesus, I, I come to you and I, and I realize that I've been a sinner, but I don't wish to remain one. I want you to help me. I confess that I'm a sinner. All of my sins I confess before you and ask for mercy. Cleanse me by the blood of Jesus, by your blood, O oh Lord Jesus. Cleanse me by your blood. Oh, Heavenly Father, accept me in, back in to the fold. I make up my mind that I will serve you with my entire life. I will not go back to a habitual life of sin. And if I do sin, I will quickly repent and continue my journey with you. I love you, Lord, and I thank you for saving me. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything that we are, everything that we will be, is dependent, it is predicated on our relationship with Jesus. I stand to testify that, that without Christ in the boat, the entirety of our experiences will be crises. From one crisis to the other, to the other, to the other. And so we come to pray. And I want to plead with you. And actually beg you. I beg you. To open your mouth when we are to pray. Project from your voices. Pray from your bellies. From your guts. The Bible says, out of their bellies shall flow rivers of living water. And let's take this thing. This is critical. God prepared me properly for this meeting. So yesterday, I was, I was in the market. You know why? And I just saw hordes of people. I've not been there in a while. Hordes of people. Hordes and hordes of people. And I'm like, where are all these people going? Where are they going? I walked to a point and I thought, there might be a stampede here. And I retraced my step back and I went to you know, meet somebody. And we're just, you know, I wanted to buy something actually for the children. And then as I looked at her and I said, Are you a Christian or a Muslim? The way I say it is, Are you a Christian, Muslim, or pagan? She said, I do everything. And I said, You cannot do everything, you can't hold between two opinions. You've got to choose a side now. And I give God glory. That God reached out to her. And God brought her to the kingdom. Right there. In the market. 
So, what are we saying? <laughs> Don't wait until we carry the megaphone and go to a place. Every day you meet a soul that is ready. The challenge is, are you ready for that soul? That's the problem. Then I said, we are all gathered here gaily dressed. What actually is the passion for those who are perishing? Rescue the perishing. Save the dying. That is our commission. All right, so let me read. I will take some prayer points. My time is almost gone. Says this is Luke chapter 10. I start from verse 1. Luke 10 from verse 1. Says, after these things, the Lord appointed 70 others also. And send them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself was about to go. Then he said to them, The harvest is truly great, but the laborers are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go your way. Behold, I send you out as lambs among wolves. Carry neither money bag knapsack or sandals and greet no one along the road. But whatsoever house you enter, first say peace to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest upon it. If not, it will return to you and remain in the same house eating and drinking such things as they give you. For the laborer is worthy of his wages. Do not go from house to house. Whatever city you enter and they receive you, eat such, uh, uh, such things as I said before you. Heal the sick there. Say to them, the kingdom of God has come to you. Heal the sick. Say to them that the kingdom of God is come near you. I have a few other scriptures I want, wanted to read originally, but I don't have time to read. So I would just trust the Holy Spirit to help us this morning and then help us to pray. But I want us to pray, really, really pray from within our, the depth of our soul. Uh, <laughs> all right? From the, within the depth of our souls. And we know that God will hear us as we pray. All right. 2 Corinthians 5, 18 and all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Let me read this. All right, I'm tempted, but I'm going to, it's a good temptation. I'm going to read this one. Um, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter number six. Um, something very important there uh, as from verse... Uh, yeah, from verse 7. It says, For the earth which drinketh in the rain that cometh off upon it, and bringeth forth herbs, meat for them by whom it is dressed, receiveth blessings from God. <laughs> but that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. But, beloved, we are persuaded better things of you Things that pertain unto what? Unto salvation. Let's stop there. I want to pray for um, a number of things here. And I, I just, I'll just read them. And I want us to just um, to rise up. If you are not sick this morning, if you can still stand, I beg you, let us rise up. All right? If you have a voice, I want you to open your mouth and cry to heaven. See, what we are talking about is the difference between heaven and hell. Life and death. The destiny of people. Okay? We're going to pray that God send laborers into the harvest. Okay. All right. Can I change that? That God send me as a laborer to this harvest. Right? If you're praying for laborers and it doesn't include you, you are praying for a replacement. That somebody else said, Jesus said this. said, if these ones fail to cry out, when children are saying, Hosanna, 
Say so God will raise stones. May that not be our portion in Jesus' name. All right, God will send me as a worthy laborer onto this field, onto this mission, and others also along with us as we go. That God will touch the heart of people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And that we're going to find persons of peace with a willing heart. Okay? That God will increase. Mm, you saw it, I say, heal the sick will increase signs and wonders. Actually, all of us here can heal the sick. Right? Apostle, right? Everybody here, we can heal the sick. When I first got born again, first got born again <laughs> but really that I knew that I was born again. I got born again very many times. But this one, I was really sure that I was born again. I was in A-levels then. <laughs> and I would... I would make a declaration. I'm not telling you lies, though. And I would see it as so. I was just a teenager. Just proclaim a thing. I remember then some cats used to come to the back of the house. And I was like, meow, meow. You know, you say this, all these things carry in Yoruba land. All they carry all kinds of connotations. And one day I just got angry. Just a teenager. I said, in the name of Jesus, you this cat stop and go. And that was the end of the noise that night. So, I am persuaded that all of us can heal the sick. Indeed, we can raise the dead. If we are so minded. And so, if you have this, this agreement with us, that we are laborers together, can we rise to pray? What else will you have about not new? <laughs> Let's rise to pray. Let's rise to pray. I want, us, I want to just pick your mics and just pray along as you sing along. Pray along. That God will make me a laborer. God will make me a worker. God will make me one that will go out. Seeing opportunities everywhere. God will make me one that will lead many to Christ. I want you to open your mouth and pray. God will anoint me afresh. Huh? We power to heal. Power to save. I need to lead them unto God. God only saves. Power to lead them unto God. The wisdom to know what to say at every point. Huh? Let God arise in me. Let his spirit arise in my heart. Huh? Let God arise in me. Let his spirit arise in my heart. Hallelujah. Let us pray unto God. Father, we pray, oh God, for all of us oh, yeah. as we gather here. We are raising our hand and we are listening. We are enlisting in this great army that you are sending out. Oh, Father, we pray that Lord, you will have every engagement, every engagement, everyone we, we meet in our daily conversations. Lord, help us to know, grant us discernment to know, grant us compassion to know, and to bring them unto you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help us, even strengthen us to pray. Oh, make us anew. Strengthen us with new fire, with new enthusiasm to go out to go out uh, to go out to be wise servants of, of the Lord Jesus Christ of the God of heaven and to bring souls uh, unto him oh father thank you holy spirit thank you for us those who are bound by Satan, we call the yokes to break in the name of Jesus. Make the zifrini mekala, magro hujanta, make the paniga, zeta frini mekali prono hujta, make the lepara, nampra pane asata, pane rokota frini mela, kufini mele janta, maliista, legra no frini mekala, yaha talamegra, mo frini mepi, kaka big, kaka big frini stoha, mo kle vernela. Oh, Rahashte, make the Passangela Makipro no Cataria, make the Harataria, make Rataria Repatata Ramatata Tatania, the Capataria Ramapuro Sandria, Kelfrene Mega, Lufrene Macassella, Juma Cassella, Rena Mapana, Kedi Oka, oh, Yahatel, oh, Yemerita Carema, oh, Mepene Cassandria, we are crying for souls, oh God, the ones that we meet in the course of today, in the course of this week, we are asking, oh God, that Lord, you will arise in us. Oh, you grant us words to speak. Many Easter, 
Anoint us, O God, with power to heal them, to make a difference in their life. In the name of Jesus. O Sinime, Nekle Shetipi, Nekabala, Nuhotela, Oratela, Mekatela, Harabatana, Mekle Perdulo, Mekisela, Ramasela, Aramakapala, Zekle Mechonta, Mikra, Mikra, Ofrene, Mikra, Ole Mikra, Mikra, Rema Papana, Yankle Perdulo, Mikrila, Mani Sifrin, Makaleha, Negro Satanina, Oh, Nekle Shepene, Kamani Sare, Katatanika Penia, O Mikra, O Mikle Salamingi, Rana Asante. Lord, anoint us afresh with your spirit and with your power, like Jesus Christ was anointed. Oh, Hallelujah. Officially, my time is up, but yes, I've been giving five more minutes. All right, thank you. Now, you have somebody that you know, my person. Somebody that you know that this person, you've been like groaning for that person to be saved. Okay? Maybe that person is a family member, a child, a parent, a colleague in the office. We're going to, we're going to draw them in. Oh, we're going to draw them in by the power of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood. The blood cleanses Oh, breaks the yoke of sin, sets free, delivers. We're going to call forth all of those in the name of Jesus from the kingdom of darkness and cause them to be translated to the kingdom of God, their son. You know their names. You can mutter their names under your breath so that we don't know who you're talking about. But I want you to travail. Hey, as soon as Zion traveleth, he did what? Brought forth. I want you to travel over that particular person. You've been praying for that person. Well, this, there's a corporate anointing here uh, to break that yoke and to set that person free. That Jesus will be Lord over their lives. Let us go to God and pray. And I want us to pray really deeply. Pray really deeply from your soul, from your bellies, from your guts. The Lord will, will reach out by human agents. Filled by the Holy Ghost to touch them. They may not be even, they may not even be in Nigeria. Wherever they might be, that God will reach out and yank them from darkness, bring them to light, set their feet on this journey to walk with God, walk with your God to all pleasing. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Let us just pray. Let us open our mouth and pray unto our God. Every touch kepeli manga leya nampeleya leya net stuffing in kepale. We are praying, oh God, for the ones that we have named. Even as we stand before you, Jehovah, we are praying, oh God, for the ones that we have named. As we stand before you, oh God, at this hour, we are asking, oh God. The Bible says, "You do not wish for a sinner to die." But that they repent and be saved. We are asking in the name of Jesus. We are asking for, for, your, for, your, for the outpouring of your mercy upon them, oh God. Let your mercy lead them to grace, unto salvation in the name of Jesus. Oh Father, we are asking, we are asking, we are asking even groaning that Lord, this ones will come. Yeah, yeah. This one will come out of darkness and come into light in the name of Jesus. Oh, we say, this one, oh God, we prevent them. Lord, we receive them from going to hell. In the name of Jesus, we are saying, oh God, Lord, by your mercy, pull them in. By the grace of Jesus, pull them in. Let the blood wash them, cleanse them, break every yoke of hell of the enemy upon their lives. In the name of Jesus, oh Holy Spirit, oh Holy Spirit, we enlist your support at this hour. Send angels, send humans, Lord, that are anointed by you to touch them. Oh, Nish, Kemo, Lopenea, Ronea, Renemel, Grome, Penea, Rana Mampani, oh, Ea, Nemer, Tu, Mengle, Ija, Nemapro, Zekle, Peranosa, Nenka, Tata, 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 
Oh, ne preni ka santo le mengiria. Mer tominga la ha. Romaya. Roma pane a santo le mengtreha. Na preno ho. Ne klay pe santa. This was oh God. We say no. They're not going with the enemy any longer. Renige. Le me bro na klay. Roma pane a santa. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ne klay me hir. Check my mela, capre ne make a center, let me handle the hoha. Na, 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 Make the plan a harantera. Let the panino host. Make the promo host Santa. Nige sell me ra. Laka paka paka brenda Santa today. Father, thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you've not joined in this fasting and praying up until this point, the Lord will have you join. The Lord will have you join. Ah, you say I have a hard colleague. He says. He was fasting. His wife compelled him to fast. And at nine o'clock, he came to say, Oga, my body is shaking. I want to eat now. But I say, concern you, God will strengthen you. The Lord will help you. Join. Join. A soul is tied to you. Join. Praise the Lord. Thanks for watching the Potter's House of Lagos Global Broadcast. For more information, please visit www.thepottershouseoflagos.org You can also follow us on all our social media platforms to stay up to date with everything we're doing here in this ministry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.